Hey there, welcome to Divine Guidance by Sage. I am Sage the Intuitive, and today I am going to bring a message from our Divine Masculines to the Divine Feminine. So what we're trying to figure out is, what is taking the Divine Masculine so long to get to the Divine Feminine? So this message is typically for someone that um, is in some type of separation or things just aren't moving the way that you want them to move. So we're gonna kind of find out what's going on with our divine masculine what is taking them so long to come forward um or what's taking them so long to to take some type of action towards us um don't forget to like share and subscribe and to turn on the notification bell so we're going to get started we're going to get a couple overall messages and then we're just going to see where spirit takes us um so i'm going to go ahead and get um a few messages to start out overall I've already saged, I've already blessed and shuffled. I'm just doing a final shuffle before I pull these final cards to start the reading. So we're trying to see what messages do we have from the divine masculine to the feminines that are in some type of separation to start this reading. So this is the first card we have and it says, let there be closeness between you but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. So maybe someone is needing some type of space at this time, and that to me just lets me know that there is some type of separation. We'll pull one more. Okay. And this one says, Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. So it looks like um, maybe some feminines are questioning if this situation is even going to happen. Um, not knowing um, is, is, you know, maybe causing you some strife. If you're a divine feminine watching, um, you may be a little upset. And the cards is saying that, you know, there are some blessings on the way. And, um, you know, know that you deserve everything that your heart truly desires. So if your heart desires your masculine, just know that you deserve uh, what your heart desires. But there is definitely just from the first card, we know that there is some space or some separation between the two. So we're going to see, um, let's get an overall message of you know what's going on with the in the divine masculine's world right now i'm going to pull a couple um moonology cards to just give us an idea of what's going on and in the divine divine masculine's headspace right now what's going on in their world that we can know about So I received your dreams need a practical plan. And be bold and make the first move. And I'm going to pull one more. Okay, and then we have new moon and Capricorn. Your hard work is paying off. So I'm seeing that. Um, and then under the bottom, we have a time for healing. So what I'm feeling is that the divine masculine right now um, is, is very focused on some type of plan. Uh, maybe it's having to do with their finances. Um, maybe it has to do with um, maybe a plan to come towards you. But I'm, I'm feeling like they're trying to work hard towards some particular plan. And um, they're really confused about which direction to go into. And so instead of going, you know, moving forward, they're either choosing to work way more often so that they cannot move forward towards the divine feminine or maybe they're just not feeling like they are 
and a place to do that um, right now maybe they they aren't feeling like they have all the resources to offer the feminine even though the overall message says to be bold and make the first move but um, it just seems like because it says your dreams need a practical plan I feel like that the, the uh, masculines are very confused on how to move forward how to do um, to to just even approach the feminine is what I'm feeling um, because they don't have a plan and they're trying to come up with some type of plan so instead of coming up with that plan they're choosing to um, work instead of of that of um, moving forward but then I also under the deck we had a time for healing so maybe this is also the separation is needed for the divine masculine to heal um, as well because you do want to have a healed person um, so let's see let's let's try to clarify let's clarify your dreams need a practical plan why is your dreams need a practical plan here So yeah, so I'm seeing that the masculine is lacking some confidence right now. And um, while they want a committed relationship, they want to be someone to sweep, sweep you off of your feet, um, there are some other things that are going on with them. And one of the biggest things is, is that they are lacking confidence. They don't have... Um, they're not even having patience within themselves so it seems that they want to make some type of romantic gesture but they don't know how to make that romantic gesture and that is what's causing them to um, slow down and that's what i got in the overall energy and as the clarification cards the same type of thing is that yeah i want to make this um i want to sweep this person off of their feet um, but this is a challenge right now because I'm just co not confident enough to even be able to do that. Let's see why be bold and make the first move is here. Why is be bold and make the first move? here again planning so they they um they're having some ideas but they're they're having some um, bumps in the road right now and uh, one of those things is I have a feeling that they're not communicating with um, divine feminines at this time. So the divine feminine right now is trying to wonder what's going on. You're trying to piece together what's really happening because you don't really know um, what's going on. And your masculine is not communicating with you. Spirit wants them to be bold. However, um, they don't know how to work with their emotions. And that's what I'm seeing here. Um, and the clarification card where they, the clarification cards where they they have no clue how to work um, with their emotions and then part of that is because they're having their um, I feel like have some type of trauma in the past that they are they're having a hard time releasing past situations so maybe this is past situations and relationships this could be past situations and family situation you know family dynamic um, and then being that feminines you're so gentle and loving towards them they don't know how to take that um you are open-hearted towards them they don't know how to take that and so they say nothing at all and they're still wondering um you know like i said maybe some trauma so maybe at some point someone in their past was may have started out as a gentle loving person and that was a facade and they don't know what to believe they don't know if this is really um, what is happening. Are they, is, this, is this a repeat of what has happened to them in the past? So they, they aren't, instead of, you know, working this out, instead of being bold, again, they're lacking confidence really bad. Um, what's, what's, 
Why is your hard work is paying off here? Okay, so they know that you are a dream come true for them. Um, they know that you are their wish fulfillment. I got the four of Gabriel, which is equivalent to like the four of wands, the soulmate card. And then I got the star card. So they know that you are a star to them. They know that you are a dream um, come true for them. They know that um, you are abundant. They know that being together with you would be um, an abundant situation. They are not following their heart. However, they're very much in their ego. So um, what I'm, I'm seeing is, you know, they may be actually going to either a friend or tr trusted friend, um, maybe a psychic, maybe they're um, looking at readings because they're not sure how to handle this magnitude of a um, relationship or emotions or feelings because they know you are their one. They just aren't sure how to even handle um how to handle that and that's cause that's causing causing them um again some confusion that's causing causing them to be um less confident within themselves let's see let's see what's happening in the heart space of the divine masculine what is going on in the heart space of the masculine we see what's going on outside in their ego we already see that they are you know fighting with themselves they're not listening to their heart at all they're more so listening to their head so let's find out what is going on in the heart space of the divine masculine They want success um, in this situation. In their heart, they know that they want this to be a successful, um, something that's successful. They want an equal give and take. But right now, they're going through some tower moments in their life. They, there's um, some divine intervention happening with them in their life right now. What else is going on in their heart space? Your masculines desire love. They desire um, this type of, um, they desire a higher level of a commitment. I have the Ace of Cups and the Six of Cups. Um, so this is, this is telling me that they know, um, and in their heart, they know what's right. In their heart, if you're in a, you know, obviously in a twin flame, some people don't use that term. Maybe they just want to call it soulmate. Whatever the title is, they know that you are a higher level of a commitment for them. And they know that deep in their heart. And actually, many of these masculines are manifesting this connection um, with the magician card. They are manifesting um, this connection. But it's still just taking them some time because they won't get out of their head. They're in their head so much that they are not following their heart. And even if they were to follow their heart, you know, there is not there needs to be a balance regardless of how you look at it. It should be some type of balance, which there is no um, balance. But then I got the um, Ace of Swords. So there is some some awareness here and there's some breakthroughs um, that are going to come through for your masculine and maybe this breakthrough is already coming and we're just trying to you know we have to wait out um them getting them getting enough courage to move forward what is it that our masculine knows about the divine feminine let's see what the masculine consciously knows about the divine feminine from a conscious level, what does a masculine know about the divine feminine? What does a masculine know 
about the divine feminine. They know that they need to move forward and make some type of action with you. They know that you may be a bit um, obsessive about them or them you. They know that they aren't taking um, they know they aren't taking the cup and they're not giving you what you need. They know that you desire someone that is um, very emotional. They know that you desire a happy ending. Uh, what else does the masculine consciously know about the feminine? They know that um, you are their wish fulfillment. They know that they will be satisfied in a relationship with you. What does this masculine know about this relationship? What does the masculine know consciously about this relationship? They know that they're self-sabotaging this relationship. They know that they know that they're doing that. And they know that they're causing conflict and part of that conflict could be because there are some type of competition and they know that they are causing conflict in this in this relationship and um, they know you're waiting for them feminines some of you are definitely waiting for them and they know that as well Yeah, and they and they know that it's they do know that it's taking you a lot of strength to to sit and wait for them because they know that you may have other options. However, I don't feel that they too much care for the factor that they're um, that you possibly can have other options. But it could be that they bec they have other options as well. But they don't want those other options. They want you, feminine. Yeah, and they and they want to cut out whatever other things that are causing them to um, to go away from you. They want to cut those things out because they know that you are, even if they don't know the term twin flame or maybe they know soulmate. They they know that this relationship is um, a twin flame connection or a soulmate connection with the lovers card here. So they know all of these things. So if you're thinking that your uh, masculine is oblivious to this stuff, your masculine is not oblivious to anything. And then they have a lot of passion for you. I was just kind of shuffling, not really asking a question, and the ace of wands fell out. So they 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 are very passionate about you, um, and they're trying to. to get a new perspective about this entire situation and partially that could be um that new perspective is saying that they need to drop some of the heavy burdens that they're having um and some of that burden could be from maybe a potentially a third party person place or thing and um even if it is a third party um this is a this is a, a karma that needs to clear out in their lives so that could be something that is why they're um, a reason why they're taking so long because this karma needs to clear out of their life with the judgment card here um the karma needs to clear out and until that karma is clear they can't come forward to you they are aware that this is a divine partnership with the two of cups card so they know because we have the lovers and the two of cups so they they understand that this is a um, higher level of a commitment, but they definitely are not um, following their intuition with the high priestess here. They're not following their intuition. They're in their ego so much that they're not following their intuition. Let's see if we can find out what the um, masculine could be saying to themselves what is it that the masculine is saying to themselves what are they saying to themselves to rationalize how they're acting let's ask that question what are they saying to themselves to rationalize why they aren't moving forward
What is the masculine saying to themselves to rationalize why they are not moving forward? So what they're saying to themselves is that basically they're lying to themselves because they're feeling like this is not um, this is not a real um, connection. They're thinking it to themselves that, you know, maybe they're thinking things. Maybe this is too good to be true. So they're not telling um, they're they're lying to themselves, which is why they aren't moving forward, because they're trying to make themselves believe that this may not be a higher level of a commitment. And they're trying to face face their shadow side and spirit is trying to make them face face their um, their shadow side spirit is here trying to force them to to face their shadow side um, because although they are very passionate um, about you they're they're thinking that this is not true this is too good to be true they're just thinking it is just in their head again in their ego versus um following their heart they're just in their head saying yeah this is not this is too good to be true and um with the third eye chakra here they're they're not seeing things for the for um the way that they really are and they're also very unbalanced and so they're convincing themselves that if they move forward because of the things that are happening have happened to them in the past, um, they're saying, okay, well, I might get some kind of emotional loss because that's what happened to me in the past. I got, you know, I got played in the past. Something didn't work out for me in the past. So instead of, um, you know, trying to put myself out there, I'm not going to do it because this is really all in my head. I'm just thinking this. This is not real. This is not true. Um, that's what I'm that's what I'm feeling that they are saying to themselves to rationalize the factor of them not moving forward um, because they don't feel like this is that what they're thinking is true. Um, let's see what's going on in the shadows. Let's see what some some um, what's happening in the shadows of the masculine finding out what is taking this masculine so long what are they dealing with what is the masculine dealing with so they're saying um i love myself enough to walk away but I don't think that that's the masculine saying that. I think that's the feminine um, saying that. Because I think at some point, because you guys are in separation, the feminine may have been the one to say, you know what, um, I love myself enough to walk away from this. Because, um, you know, because this isn't just working for me. This isn't working for me. So I'm going to go ahead and walk away. Um the masculine said that he thought that he was the runner, he or she. The masculine thought that they were the runner. Um, they were the chaser, but they actually are the runner. So they didn't even realize um, that um, they, they thought that they were chasing you. But a in actuality, they're running from you. And they're realizing that. And they know that you can see right through their BS. They know that you could um, see right through their BS. And then we have, I never want to feel that way again. So maybe the last time you spoke to them or in uh, some incident um, that you, that you spoke to them, um, they, you know, maybe it was not a pleasant, pleasant um, conversation. And they're saying, I never want to feel that way again. Um, and then they're also saying that I forgive you. So again, I feel like this is more of an ego thing because maybe you deserve to say whatever they deserve to get whatever said to them and they're saying i forgive you so maybe they were mad with you and made you feel guilty um about something and they're saying that they forgive you um but it could be our feminine saying that she forgives them for whatever it is that they did um they know they say that your body language 
says so much so they definitely know how to read your body language they also are fantasizing about you so if you weren't sure but then there's another part um that says they say thank you for leaving me so we know this again lets us know um that you're in separation because under the deck we had a time for healing and so they're saying you know thank you for leaving me maybe you needed to leave them so that they can heal so they're saying thank you for for doing that let's see let's see what else is going on what else can we know about the masculine Okay, so then we have the red flag card. Tune into the subtle energy you're receiving about this situation. Listen to the messages from your body. Trust your gut and your intuition. So this could be spirit saying this to you, but this also could be spirit saying this to this masculine. It's telling them that they need to start trusting themselves. Yeah, because I, I, um, get, I was getting ready to start shuffling and the divine masculine card felt right on top of this. So the masculine does not trust themselves. They're not following their um, gut. They're not following their intuition. And this is what spirit is trying to teach them to do, which is why they aren't um, doing things the way that um, the feminines would want. And um, this is just to confirm that this is a past life soulmate. So you've had many lives together. And um, we said that we need that um, there needs to be some reflection. So for this reflect card, it says we attract soulmates based on the lessons we need for growth. Um, is this hindering or supporting you? So feminine, is this situation hindering or supporting you? Maybe that's something you need to think about. But you guys absolutely are triggering each other. Um, with the triggers card where it says emotional baggage is running the show. Um, retrain the internal so the external can change which goes back to this is a time for healing for this masculine and um, they're gonna have to work through those triggers um, but the divine is also saying that this is true love this is a divine connection so this is um, true love but there needs to be again going back to space time to clear out your energy and the space brings clarity we started out we were talking about um, giving each other space. So space needs, um, space brings clarity here um, in this situation. Um, here we go with the, um, we also have the stalemate, which is what we know that this is in some type of separation. And I mentioned earlier, it's so funny, I used the same word, um, decisive action because a stalemate situation says someone needs to take a decisive action or need to take decisive action so someone here is not taking action that they need to take um let's go to some unspoken uh, messages from the masculine what else can we know about this masculine spirit what are some messages that we other messages we can know about this masculine that's in separation right now truly madly deeply so they are truly madly and deeply in love with you um they may ha not have ever said that to you um but they are in love with you. They are having trust issues. We mentioned that a little bit earlier. That they are not trusting of other people. But they are also not trusting of themselves. And they, they are saying that they can't sleep with you on their mind. And they are also missing your hugs and kisses. And another thing is that they are acting very. They are fake busy. And that's <laughs> what we said. Um, we I think at the very beginning we were talking about them working a lot. Trying to do something so that they do not think about um this connection so they're acting fake busy but then the funny thing is, it says this love is crazy they're not understanding this love they don't understand what's happening is here and they have such a such a strong desire um 
um, for you and they're saying that life sucks right now and they need you to understand that life sucks for them right now um, this is like you don't even imagine it you don't even imagine um, you can't even imagine how much life is sucking for them right now and they're in some type of dark place um, so and then they are also missing the moments that you guys share together um, they're definitely thinking about that um, let's see if we could get maybe one more message from the masculine here we go I want you so the masculine is clearly saying that they want you we know that they uh, want you we knew that already let's see Let's see what else is going on with the masculine. Let's 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 just basically get all up in the masculine's mind, body, and soul right now. Maybe this will bring you some clarity so you can know what's going on. So you can decide, feminines, what is best for you at this particular time. All right, what else is going on with the masculine spirit that we can know at this time? The masculine is looking for you for some type of compromise between you two. Um, they're looking for some type of compromise between you two. And then um, we we already knew um, with the two cards that came out together, we got the unworthy card and then we got the confidence card. So they are lacking confidence because they feel like they're not worthy of you. And um, we saw that from the very beginning that they were feeling like they were not worthy of you let's see what else is happening <laughs> some of the same things that we said before they're self-sabotaging in a situation they are self-sabotaging so that you know they're being judgmental they're giving away their power and they're focusing on the negatives they're trying to build um, um, some type of walls around their heart uh, which we knew already because their heart won't open and um, they have this strong desire which we already knew that they have this passion and desire for, for you um, and there with the telepathy card here you know they they can feel you you can feel them they can feel your thoughts so if you're thinking about them nine times out of ten they are thinking about you as well um, so you guys can can like sense each other's feelings. You can sense each other's moods um, when you are not together. Anything else we could know about the masculine? They want to give you some type of gift. Not sure what that gift is, but they want to give you some sort of, of um, gift here. Um, this masculine needs to um, get out of their comfort zone. They absolutely need to get out of their comfort zone. Even if you look at this car and a person has their like headphones on, this gentleman, it's funny because it's like, that's how the masculine is. It's like, la, 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 I don't hear anything. I don't hear anything. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with it. If it's not there. It's not there. And then they're also possibly overindulging. They could be overindulging in um, drugs and alcohol. They could be overeating. They could, again, trying to do things, um, trying to do things to, to allow them to not think about um, this connection. And... Um, the, the, because their life is in so much chaos so you may not know how much chaos their life is in and we pulled that card a little earlier from a whole nother deck um and then they're definitely suppressing their feelings we knew that as well and then here we go twin flame came right out so they know secret sacred union they know they know that this is a sacred union let's see Let's see if what kind of um, hidden truth we can find out about the masculines here. Is there any kind of hidden truth from the hidden truth oracle that we don't know about? What are some other hidden truths that we may or may not know about and we need some confirmation on? 
They say they feel you leaving them behind. I feel you leaving me behind. So they feel that you are leaving them behind. Um, again, they are not sleeping well. I stay awake thinking about you. They are definitely not sleeping well. Because they are up at night thinking about you. So even if there is a karmic um, situation that they're dealing with at this time. And they're trying to clear out um, some type of karma. It's, it doesn't matter because at night they, th they think about you. They're saying that they're becoming a better person. And probably this is why the separation is happening. They need the time to heal. Um, and they said, I wish I could take back my words. So maybe they said something to you that you, you know, that was not favorable. Maybe they said something that was mean or rude to you. And here we go again from the very beginning. I buried myself and work to forget about you. We've seen that same message in at least four different decks that I've used here. That same message. They are fake busy. They're they're making it seem like they're so busy that they cannot focus on this right now. But they're choosing not to focus on this right now. And they replay the conversations that you have over and over um, in, in their heads. And they do love you. And we notice that. And they say that they love you unconditionally. And they're saying that their life is not um, as it seems. So... We saw that they're showing at least three decks said that there is some chaos in their life. Um, and But they do know that you are the best thing to happen in their life. And then they also are hiding behind, um, you know, material things in, in their life as well. So, again, getting, you know, knowing we we are just getting confirmation that, some, that these, this, these are the things that have been happening with the masculines that they're they are really really just kind of um you know standing back and and pretending you know like that that they, they, they have they are so busy they have so many other things to do than to focus on you know you and whatever it is that you two could have and couldn't move forward with they are focusing on that what else can we know about the divine masculine spirit please again gift card they have a gift for you so maybe that's part of that planning they're planning something maybe they're planning a trip maybe they're planning to give you a gift maybe they're planning to propose who knows but they're planning something because they keep saying i have a gift for you um i'm so attracted to you you don't know what you do to me this is what the masculine wants um, to say, I know more than you think. So if you think that your masculine doesn't know what's going on, um, they do. Um, they are very obsessed with you. It's just, no, I'm obsessed with you. And, um, no one can change my love for you. Um, but they're saying I'm, se I'm severing ties with this karmic partner. So if they're in some type of karmic situation, they're saying they're severing ties um, but also maybe the reason that they're not talking to you is because they're trying to protect you because they're saying that I am protecting, um, this connection and, um, they also are keeping a close eye on you, um, on social media and they are always reminded of you. And we said maybe they were looking into some, um, you know, going to some type of advisors. They may be looking into tarot readings. And like I was saying, wait, gift. Um, I've been thinking about proposing to you. Maybe. You never know. Um, whatever that situation could be. Um, they're also expanding their spiritual knowledge. Maybe that's coming from their time of... Um, healing and they've thought about having a family with you but we also know that this masculine was very much in denial because they said i was in denial um and they said you know i they know that you have really been by their side and they see see that and cherish you for that let's see I regret walking away from you. So they are regretting the fact that they walked away from you. Um, and they said they do think about a future 
and when they do i think about they think about you in their future with them and um they say i could tell you don't trust me and i want to change that they can tell and then it says i have some inner child wounds going back to that healing that we discussed um going back to the healing um we discussed that and they said they really hate communicating not communicating as much as they want to and they know that you guys are being spiritually guided towards each other so there's so much that this um masculine knows that maybe you didn't think that they knew but there is so much um that they know let's get let's let's end this with a uh, romance angel okay spirit so tell us let's let's close this out with a romance angel let's give our viewer a feminine something to um to think about with this reading let's close this out how can we close this reading out spirit spirit is telling you to pay attention to the red flags um the signs are cautioning you which i think most of you have been doing anyway because a good amount of you probably have already walked away and um honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time so maybe um you need to enjoy the, enjoy whatever time it is alone not necessarily holiday time but you may need to start to do some things to enjoy yourself and then there's also the potential that um you know there could be some new love coming in for you as well so um a new person may be stirring your romantic feelings so there could be someone new coming in for you um as well so these are the messages that i have for um our divine masculine um the collective of divine masculines that i am um connected with right now um i was splitting the deck and it says stay optimistic about your love life um and so feminines or whoever um is watching this reading just continue to um think positive hopefully these messages are giving you some type of insight into your situation if this is your story just know that this is a general reading so it may or may not um resonate with you completely but maybe you were able to get some type of um information from this reading so thank you for stopping by i'm station intuitive don't forget to like share and subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell you guys stay safe and i thank you for stopping by take care